Hi again, welcome to the Garage I'm Pierre. I don't know how many times I've been trying to make an intro and I forgot to put the sound on or something like that. Did that today again. So <laughs> let's uh, let's go to the uh, subject of the day. Uh, my friend Philip, which uh, just came in uh, recently. Sorry, I can't have him all the time because I do the intros like sometimes uh, past the uh, past the fact. But uh, anyway, we worked on. You know, he's he's making a tap follower and. Uh, you know, there's a plunger inside, there's the body, and we're working on the hardening and the, you know, the heat treating process of these two parts. Um, if you want to make heat treatment with uh, you know, the minimal pitting, there are a few, a few methods. I would say one of the preferred methods would be uh, having an oven or a kiln with uh, inert gas in it. You put argon or you uh, do it in vacuum. So there's no air, no pitting, no oxidation. That's, uh, I'd say would would be uh, one of the preferred method. Uh, another method would be to use uh, stainless steel foil. You make an envelope, put your parts in there with a little piece of towel or uh, paper towel. The, this burns produce CO2, uh, which uh, burns the leftover oxygen in there. But the problem with the stainless steel foil, it costs an arm and a leg, and it's hard to work with. Sometimes you end up with more cuts than uh, than you got parts made. Uh, you know, as a final result. So. Uh, I mean, you look for something else. Um, what we've been using, which is accessible to us, is uh, advanced technical products. It's the uh, ATP39 for this one, ATP641 uh, for this one. This is some kind of a clay-based product. Uh, you have a dilution of this. It's water-soluble. It's uh, it's non-toxic. It's uh, you know, like it's pretty uh, pretty nice for the environment. There's no uh, no problem because it's like I said, it's clay-based. You dip your part in there, make sure it's well covered, then uh, dry it out, make sure the, all the water is gone. Then you just uh, put the part directly in the, uh, you know, the heat treat oven. It, makes, uh, it, it, it stops the air from getting to the surface of the part. So um, we've been trying, been experimenting with that product for a while. Then uh, what we think about it, it's a great product. It seems to be going very good. We're not exactly finished experimenting with it. So far, so good. And as the results come, then uh, we'll keep you posted with the results. As of now, we're not totally finished about uh, the test we want to do on this. Uh, today's session is about uh, treating the, uh, hardening the case, hardening the pin. Um, still performing some tests on how resistant this is going to be and the, how tough. Uh, if you have any questions, go into the comment box if you have any uh, you know if you want to know a few things about the products I'll try to put everything I can in the uh, description box so Philips will appear in a few seconds and let's proceed with the uh, today's test and the today's uh, you know like uh, advancement of the project you are now installed to make some uh, hardening and tempering heat processing yep yep uh, we got the uh, PTC product the ATP 39 we're using ATP you're right. Uh, we're dipping the parts in there, the bodies in there. We're uh, letting them drip, letting them drip as much as we can, and putting this into the little oven. This is only uh, 100 and maybe 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Just to help dry them out quicker, because you can't put them in. If you put them in the oven wet, they're just uh, it's, get, it's gonna scale right off. It's gonna blow right off. Yeah, they they they, they got to be dry when you put them in the uh, treatment treatment oven. Okay, so. Uh, those pins are uh, those are ready to go in. Give me your pliers, please. Watch out. D put them there, put them there. Hey, no, no, you put them there. I mean, I don't trust you this time. Take them this way. I'm not going to get pinched and you're not going to get pinched. Yeah, ye. Well, that's what you get for sticking your fingers in an open pair of pliers. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, we're uh, drying them out. So this one is kind of a, hey, pretty well dried. Feel okay? Yeah, feel okay. Feel okay. Yeah, feels good. We're gonna try some with the ATP39, and we're gonna be trying some with the uh, other ATP. We're so we'll see what uh, what kind of results we can expect. Uh, this is going in there. Once in the little oven, it dries pretty uh, pretty, pretty well, quick. pretty fast. About 15 minutes gets rid of uh, enough of the humidity. There we go. All the parts were uh, totally degreased. And then burnished uh, with a bit of the stuff to help it adhere. If it's uh, too slick, it seems to run off. 
this is going to be making more some kind of a ceramic -y, uh, ceramic -y product. It's going to, it's like more like a, some kind of a clay. Yeah, it just prevents the oxygen from interacting when you're heat treating it. Yeah. Borrowed my wife's and then, uh, honey, can I have it back? Or it's going to make everything taste like metal. Oh, you keep it then. Tempering oven. Not a heat treat oven, but a tempering oven. Up to 500. Okay. This kind of dipping is pretty close from what we do when uh, you do some lost wax uh, casting and things like those. Yeah. You just like add a few coats as a, as it goes to make a decent uh, outer outer shell. Okay, so we bring you back when uh, when it's starting to taste something. <laughs> that smells like pizza. I don't think so. Mm. Ain't dry yet. Nope. Yeah, I guess uh, we're working for Johnson and Johnson here. <laughs> Subcontracting. <laughs> Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Small contracts, you know, better than nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Close the door. Yeah, free trade. It's going to be at us. Oh, I leave it out. Leave it out, leave it out. Only a few more degrees and we'll be right there. Okay, this is starting to go into the... Uh, you want your gloves or what? No, no, the perfect. The pogo sticks. <laughs> the pogo sticks. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, better that than what we... Uh, okay. Kind of... Yeah. Let people believe that they could be. Okay, more. Just uh, stick the pogo sticks. There you go. Right fresh of the uh, toaster oven. Still a little bit warm. The water is out of it. I hope. They look like marshmallows. I don't know. There's, that's hot. there's one burning. I don't know what you're. It's probably just a bit of uh, stuff uh, on the inside. Supposed to be all gun. Okay, so we have about a uh, few seconds to go. 35 seconds to go for a 10 minute soak. Uh, it doesn't have to soak very long because the parts aren't very thick. Uh, we're going to put uh, two in oil uh, one with the brown covering, one with the white covering to see what, uh, what we get. And the balance is going to go in the water. So uh, here we go. We got the oil in the square bucket and water in the round one. You got 35 seconds to wait. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Ready? <laughs> Come on. Okay, one white and one gray in oil. That's it. We'll see what it does. Cleaning this up. Cleaning my uh, utensils. The W1 in oil will get uh, softer, a little bit softer. Uh, we'll see if we need to uh, really heat treat it after, or uh, just to um, do the tempering of it. Be just sufficient like that to yeah. uh, get a supple, uh, you know, supple enough so it doesn't break. Uh, look, if we can get uh, low 50s, we got something very nice, I think. What temperature in the oven? 14.99. Okay, two more. In the water. Boy, does that clean that scale off, the, the, the coating off. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen what it did in the, in well, the oil. I can see right now we got some nice stuff. Ready? Yep. Okay, it's going to be a, a brown and a white. Shit. A brown and three whites. That's going to be just a brown. Her three whites. goes quick in water. Right? Yeah, very. Ready? Come on. Open the oven. Oh, oh. Oh, by four. That's it. No That's more. it? No more. Okay, you want to put uh, the little ones in since we're up at temperature? Yeah. I'll get a glove because this is going to get warm. This, is, gets, this gets very hot. Let me uh, 
Oh, the ones in the uh, little. Uh, yeah, you want to take the ones that are fresh out of the oven, or? Not really. Okay, okay. come on. Oh, oh, it's gonna go the other direction. Ready. Other ones in the oven. Easy bake. Ready. There you go. Okay. Ten minutes. Yeah, so well ten minutes once we're back up. Uh, about a hundred degrees shy. That won't be too long. Because all it smokes. Show it. Okay. Closer. Gorgeous blues in there. We'll see what it does. Yeah. And even the, when they get oiled up a little bit, they change. Uh, look at that. While you're at it, go get the ones in the oil. Yeah, I told you, you could get the ones in the oil. Look at this one. Got Mickey Mouse on this one. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Okay, this is the result with ATP 641. I uh, took up some of the. Uh, that one was in the oil. By the the way. protective uh, protective uh, coating on this on top of this. This one was dropped in oil. When they get dropped in water, uh, the color changes like it get oxidized a little bit, and just being dropped in oil. It stayed pretty much. This is a W1. It won't be as hard as uh, predicted, like you know, like if it was been uh, drop in the water. But uh, we'll we'll do some tests on it and see how hard it gets, and see if it needs uh, you know like heat treating after this. So, uh, but the co the protective coating just keeps the uh, <coughs> surface pretty pretty well uh, you know pretty well uh, protected. It does a very nice job at doing the uh, at doing the protection on this. But like I said, in water. Everything just uh, flies at, uh, as soon as it gets into yeah, the. Yeah, uh, it, it flakes off immediately. Yeah, this is this is one that was just uh, taken out of the, just soaked in water and taken out as uh, it com comes back exactly like this. Just the uh, coating is all uh, just flaked out just by itself. This is the ATP thirty nine. In water. In the oil. In sorry. oil. Uh, it just uh, some flakes. It just it flaked it flaked a little bit more. Uh, see there, this is the some kind of oxidation. This is a special signature on it. It's, it seems pretty weird, but uh, we got a few spots, and the rest seems like very well protected. The few, this is oxidation a little bit. These ones, but yeah, but the other one oxidize just only when you put them in the water. They don't. It's the water getting underneath that creates all the uh, funny patterns on the other ones. So these ones are uh, oil soaked, and. We'll be testing how uh, how hard it comes. We'll see the difference in hardness between the uh, ATP uh, the ATP thirty nine and the ATP uh, six forty one. Or between that and water. Uh, that one? just between. Yeah, but both of these oil soaked will be softer than any of the water ones. Yeah, but I want to compare the ATP. Okay. The, the two the two different ones. Six forty one and ATP thirty nine. Okay, okay. Let's go. ready? Here comes the pins. Next. I'm trying to enter them as uh, vertical as possible. Vertical and uh, swing them, uh, you know, around as as much as possible to uh, allow them to uh, cool evenly and not get crooked. What? There's one on the floor. This one goes back in the oven. That's it. Huh? Two more. Get the other one back up to uh, temperature. There, this is one directly from the basket. 